This is a guide to making an extended waistband on your bespoke trouser. This builds off of my original trouser construction video, so you want, you'll want you probably want to familiarize yourself with that before you add an extended waistband to your bespoke trouser, and you'll find the series in the description. The extended waistband is an important feature because there are two sets of catch-ons and hooks to share the strain of the waistband. It's a traditional feature when we have a way when we have side tabs or strapped buckles or dacks. This is because there aren't suspenders or a belt taking the strain of said waistband. We cut and prepare the waistband normally. We largely attach the waistband in your normal way as well. When attaching the waistband, we just need to make sure that there is enough waistband beyond the center front of the trouser. I want a five centimeter extension, so I need at least six centimeters of waistband beyond the center front. When we get to finishing the waistband area, we mark on the extension that we want and fold the waistband over to mark a crease that we can use to cut away the canvas. We fold back the cloth and finish it in place, keeping the raw edges away from the top and bottom of the waistbanding. We place the first hook onto the waistband in just the same way as we usually do, placing it no closer than about 5mm from the end and fixing it in place in the normal way. We then need to cut enough waistband lining to go into onto the extension that goes about one centimeter behind the center front. Pressing over the bottom edge and one centimeter of the short edge to baste it along the bottom first, keeping it tight into the cove of the hook, folding it over the top, folding it over at the top to sit a little below the top of the waistband. Placing the second hook so that its front edge is level with the center front of the fly fastening it in place as well. It's the exact same principle as usual to put in the bars. When we finish the waistband lining, we can either fell the lining on the extension after we've put on the rest of the lining, or here I have the waistband lining on and I'm felling the extension lining as well. Only thing to keep in mind is trying to keep the transition between the extension lining and the waistband lining very straight.